I lifted up my eyes to see those mountains where my help will come from. My help is in the name of the Lord. You know, this is the song. I made this song. It is coming out very soon. Actually, it could have been came out long time ago. I don't know why, but uh, sometimes I'm just like this. I can make songs and they take long, and uh, then uh, I don't release. I don't know why I'm like this. But uh, I'm going to release this song very soon. I hope that it, it is going to bless someone. This song is uh, this world. I lift up my eyes to see the mountain where the mount when you are in the trouble remember you can look left behind and everywhere and you see no help and everywhere you try to climb you see that you fall remember and every time when you see that you, even if when you the doctor tell you that now it is over for you and now there is no any other place you can get your help remember that the creator of the heaven and earth the creator of heaven and earth and if i'm telling you who is going to have difficult time this time that is sometimes god is using the can bring you into the storm so that he, to 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 mold you and in, you know even is a gold you must go through the fire to become gold and even you, when God is bringing you through the fire or through the storm, it's because he is, when he is at the time of the, in the, it is a process of molding you. So when you come out of the fire, you are golden. I'm just trying to give you the, the, uh, the advice. You who is going through the trouble, do not look anywhere. Look at the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, and you will, you will have your help. I believe that when God has said something, because the word of God is the word of God, and it always must come to pass. And the call of God is not something to be ignored. Because when God is calling you to do something, and you will ignore something, you will find yourself into this trouble. I'm telling you the story of Jonah. Jonah was sent by God. To go to Ninao to preach gospel to tell the people of the Ninao that the wrath of God is coming to you because I am tired of of your wick, your wick, the wickedness in this place and uh, I am going to bring the catastrophe so go and tell these people to repent or otherwise I'm coming. You know, he just, he give them the message that God, the wrath of God is coming. This is what he, the, he was told. But Yona, he did, did not want to go to Ninao, thinking about how can I go to study to stand on the street of Ninao and he tell people about the wrath of God. And he know this, this, this kind of city, the wickedness of that place, and so much more. So he decided to hide, to go and hide himself in the in the ship and to flee from God. And he thought that he could be able to flee from God. But when he was traveling, God sent a great wind. And in that great wind, that the ship was almost sunk. And the people in this ship the the captains and the people they started to wonder why this wind is so strong there must be something wrong and these people they were something like they are believing in the things of god so they say that we should understand that if there's something like this there must be one of us must be causing this who is that they decided to cast a lot and when they cast a lot it I don't know if it was by coincidence or it was something about, of course it wasn't, it shouldn't, it couldn't be by coincidence. The Lord fell to Yona. And so Yona felt guilt. And Yona was told, was asking by, by them, 
Who are you? Tell us where you come from. And Yona told them, I am a Hebrew man. I, this, yes, I was sent by God to go and to warn the people of Ninawa about the wrath of God. But I fled from God and I came here to hide. So this is the reason why. So we cannot die together here. They told him, so we will cast you. So yeah, if that is what you should do, you can do that. And Yona knew that now it is the time of him for dying and did not know anything. And these people, they started to offer that sympathy on him. And they say, what shall we really, maybe we should wait until we come close to the seashore so we could cast them out. But then the wine became even stronger than before. Too strong that they decided to say, no, we cannot do anything. We must cast him out. But after when they cast him out, this sh the sea was calm, became calm, calm. And God sent a big fish to, to, to swallow Yona. And Yona was swallowed by the big fish. You know, I have I have this experience when I, I when I was a child or leaving home. We we usually go to ferry and you buy a whole fish. And when you buy a whole, when you cut them, when you cut them with the bell, you can see the things they have eaten. You can see even sometimes when they swallow this big fish. Many, many times they swallow small fish. You can see the small fish inside that is have been swallowed. This is exactly how Yona was sleep was in the belly of that big fish and when Yona find himself he was not dead but he was still alive three days he was still alive but it, he was in the belly of the fish this is when Yona, the, Yona decided to come to, to call the Lord for help he called the Lord at that moment when he was in the belly of, of before he, when he was that he knew that no he was that. So these are the words he said in my dress, me distress, distress I called to the Lord and he answered me from deep in the realm of the dead I called for help and you listened to my cry. You held me into the depth, into the very heat of the seas and the currents swirled about me. All the waves and the breakers swept over me. I said, I have vanished from your sight, yet I will look again toward your holy temple. The engulfing uh, waters threatened me. The deep sound surrounded me. Seaweed was wrapped around my head. To the roots of the mountain I sank down, the earth beneath burned me in forever. But you, Lord my God, brought my life up to the pit. When my life was being away, I remembered you, Lord, and my prayer rose to you, to your holy temple. Those who cling to worthless idols turn away from God's love from them, for them. But I I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice to you what I have bought, I will make good. I will say, salvation comes from the Lord. You know, these words were fantastic words. They were fantastic words in the sight of the Lord. Even if the Lord had decided to, 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 to was angry with him, these words turned the anger of the Lord. If you think about these words, these words were, he was speaking words that are full of praise, but not only of the full of praise, but also he was, they're full of faith inside of it. So in this, in this time of trouble, there are two things that can help you. You know, remember, faith is so important. When you pray, you must believe that God is will do that. This was, Yona was prayed as if God has already saved him. And he praised him with all his heart. And he got here from heaven. And he sent the fish to vomit the Yona on the seashore. And Yona found himself alive again outside. And what he did, he went to Nenawa. And 
tell them about the wrath of God. What I'm talking about here is how God God's mercy is. God, God is love. Even if when in your trouble, remember in my distress, I called to the Lord. So in your distress, remember to call up unto the Lord. And the Lord will hear you from heaven and he come to rescue you. Doesn't matter what you are going through. The very important things right now is the prayers and faith. Faith can move mountain. I'm just trying to advise you, my dear friend, my dearest friend out there who are going through the, the trouble. Remember this. You, this is for you. Remember that God is there to rescue people like you. And remember the, the, the heart that of repentance instead of pride. Pride is to evoke the anger of God and to make God even more angry. You remember that you cannot depend on people, depend on God. I'm just wanted you to see that God can even release a situation, that you will see the situation. And if you are able to analyze that situation, you will see there is a voice of God in it. You will see that God is trying to communicate with you and talking to you through that situation that you are going through. And if you can sit down and analyze that situation, you will see what God is trying to talk to you. And if you, can, if you are brave enough, if you are wise enough, you will understand that this situation was to move me. And if you take the right, the, the right, the right steps, you will win. But the, the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But the fear of men is actually foolishness, because you cannot be you and you say that you cannot be bless those bless the one who is bless is the one who trust in the Lord who does not look to the proud who does not because the proud is and make God even angry instead of bringing you closer to God humbleness praise God these are the things that can bring you closer to him and this is where you will find your peace. This is when you will find your rescue into your problems. Now stop believing in trusting in people. So now start to believe in God because it is God who can rescue people from the problems, not people. Praise the living God. I think that this might be trying to help someone out there. And it is my hope that this message will reach somewhere and help someone. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you shall be given that wisdom to understand what I'm talking about.